Hey guys, welcome back to Hardcore at Home for Tuesday, May 5th. We're going to jump into our warm-up today. We're looking at three rounds of 30 seconds of work, followed by 10 seconds of a rest or transition to that next movement. Our first movement is going to be the shoulder taps. Doing this for a while now. Make sure we get the top of the push-up position. Right hand, right shoulder, left, left. Make sure we're squeezing the butt and moving and shifting that weight as much as possible. I don't want to see the hips rocking too much here, just thinking used to having one arm up and one arm down for our Renegade rows later in the workout. After that, 10 second rest, no push up burpees. So you'll actually stay down there and you're gonna jump the feet in, jump, clap overhead, jump back, jump up, overhead. So we're not going all the way down to the floor. We're just jumping back, jumping up and getting as many reps as we can in 30 seconds. After that, lunges. So from here, step forward, step back, switch legs, make sure that knee stays behind the big toe. And we're driving off that heel back to where we started. And then last but not least, we have jumping jacks. <clears throat> Old school jumping jacks for 30 seconds. You'll start back with shoulder taps and go through that warm up for three rounds. Now for our workout today, again, you need a set of dumbbells. You need one dumbbell will be fine or weight of some sort. We're looking at a descending rep scheme. Workouts for time, it's gonna start with our biggest set, which is 20 reps. We're gonna go 20 renegade rows. So renegade row, two dumbbells, hands over the dumbbells, over the shoulder, squeezing the butt. Now from here, I'm gonna shift the weight in my right hand a little bit, and then I'll pull the dumbbell to my right armpit, and then bring it back down in a controlled motion to the ground. That's one, two, three, four. Each arm would be one rep. If that's too difficult, Go down to just doing our regular shoulder taps with a pause at the top of the rep. Then go back down, switch hands, pause at the top of the rep. Once you guys do 20, looking at 10 per arm, you'll then go and do your option of a handstand push-up if you have the capacity to do a handstand in the space to do handstand push-ups, or we'll just do regular push-ups of some sort. So hands over the shoulders, chest hits the deck, <coughs> and then we press straight up at the top. So we have a pull, then we have a push, and now we're gonna look at the lower body. So we're gonna go front rack, walking lunge, step. So with the same dumbbells you were using for the rows, you're now gonna clean them up to the shoulder. <coughs> Keep them up here. Make sure the elbows are nice and high as possible. And then if you can, I would really like for you guys to find space to walk around. Meaning, you'll take a step, you'll come up, and then continuously walk throughout those steps. If you don't have the space, then in place is fine, but it is a different movement, all right? So just understand you can create the space, either walking in the garage, in a circle, or down and back, or even outside of your garage. Something like that would be great. Again, every lunge step is one rep. After you finish the lunge steps, then we're going back to our air squats. <clears throat> so we now have a lunge to a squat. So you're looking at upper, upper, Lower, lower, 20 air squats. Then we'll go back to our 18 renegade rows, 18 push-ups, 18 lunges, 18 air squats, 16, 16, 16, 14, 14, 14, 12, 12, 12. Once you finish the round of 12, workout is done. All right, hit this one with some good intensity, guys. Any questions, comments, concerns, let us know in the comments below or reach out to us privately. Hope you guys are doing